Awful, awful, awful. Oh, hey, I'm gonna kill myself again, aren't I? Careful, Haven. Actually, take your time now. But yeah, if you're not, like, religiously checking that sort of thing, like, my, my bookmark that goes to Twitch goes to my followering page. So, I just go straight to the page where everybody is... of everybody who's streaming and hosting and... And then of the channel, other channels that I watch, like the specific game channels. Like, I follow Smash Brothers for 3DS because I don't have the Wii U version. I specifically have 3DS, so I look for streamers who are playing gamer player matches, or viewer matches, I should say, on the 3DS. I follow Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, well, 4G, because I'm waiting for Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate to come out, and I want to catch streamers who are planning on playing it when it comes out. Then I follow game development, and I think that's it. I don't follow too many of the game-specific thing. That wasn't really a feature that I really needed sp me, specifically. I, like, I get why it's there, and I love that it's there. But me, specifically, I tend to follow the broadcaster more than the game. But there are times where I totally follow a game. Oh, that's right. I also have Fantasy Star Online 2 as one of the games I follow, just because there's so few people that stream that, and the people who do are usually not very high quality. <laughs> that's, and I, okay, that totally sounds like a shot against people. I don't mean to say if you stream that game, you're not high quality. What I mean to say is a lot of the people just stream it just to hang out with their friends and aren't really streaming it to get viewers kind of thing. And that's what I see a lot of. And that's totally cool, it's totally okay. It's sort of what I do, too, in a way. I mean, if I had friends, boo-hoo, boo-hoo, and all that other funny, jokey stuff. Anyway, um, what I mean is, like, you watch Twitch streams day in, day out, as much as I do, and you totally get the impression that, like, everybody should have, like, these really super high standards all the time. And if they don't maintain these standards, then what are they doing streaming? And you're like, no, that's, that's really unfair of me. Streaming is just a hobby. It is totally a hobby, and totally can be treated as such. And I'm gonna die. Oops. Dude, Wonder Hunter 4 play before you comes out, I'll play with you. Dude, I will... If people who watch my videos want to play that game, you are automatically friends listed. We will play the hell out of that game. Because I have so many hours logged in Monster Hunter 3 and Monster Hunter 3U. And it is ridiculous. I don't get to play 3U online with anyone. Anyone. Because I have it on 3DS. I don't have it on Wii U. Can't play it online. Only local. It was such a dumb decision that only the Wii U version of 3U would have online. And only the Wii version uh, 3 would have online. I had the, the Wii version of 3 and then they took the servers down. Ah. Oh. Free on PSO2. I played that literally two years ago on Japanese servers. It's still only Japanese servers. They still haven't announced if they're going to, even if it's going to mean to America at this point. They're still not sure about that. Which is a crime. I love that game on GameCube. My friends and I used to play it all the time. Despite how ridiculously grindy and boring it could be. The PSO2? Ah, oh, Want it. It's so silly. <laughs> Have you seen some of the costumes for it? It's great. There's Attack on Titan costumes. I'm pretty sure I saw One Piece costumes. Oh, that was so cool. Oh, the One Piece costume for... Oh, Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate has One Piece stuff. I want it. I don't care much a weeaboo. No, no, there's more servers now, not English, though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, though, is I don't think they're ever going to get to making English servers. I'm really worried that they're just not going to. At this point. There's been so many delays and other stuff. They might not think it's profitable. And like the hardcorest of the hardcore just play on Japanese servers. There's one person I follow on Twitter. She loves, 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 loves that game. And every once in a while she posts screenshots. And I'll just kind of I'll just kind of go, You're mean! I wanna play! But I don't wanna play with like Japanese VPN nonsense and all that other stuff. I know there's like a, a two English patch, and I'm and I'm totally but the thing is, I already have to go through, jump through enough hoops to play a game 
just normally on my bloody computer these days. I don't want to have to add translating it to it too and having to go change my VPN to Japanese locale and all that other nonsense. I just don't want to put that much extra effort into just playing a game. Oh, oh, careful, careful, there we go. No! No! It killed me through the invincibility and I got a game over. Wow, I'm getting so many game overs. Let's look at my, hold on, let's look at my, my YouTube file only has two lives and two uh, continues left. Wow, I used to have like 99.99. When I was a kid, I'd have save files with that and other nonsense. I mean, ugh. Love her back to Act 1. Oh, I am a failure as a Sonic player. I am a failure! One of the things, though, is I started watching streamers streaming PSO2. Because I never actually saw gameplay. I... It's when I was really heavy into wanting to play it, and I kept checking news and everything for when it was coming over the US, I actually didn't know how it played. All I knew was a PSO game. And I started watching streamers, and I don't know if it's just because none of them actually explain what's going on, or anything like that, but I never know what they're doing. I mean, sometimes it seems like they're just spamming a mini game forever and ever and ever, and I know they're getting some reward out of it, they never explain what. And a ton of it's still in Japanese, like, not everything's translated, so I can't figure it out for myself, and when I ask, they almost never respond. It's like, okay, I guess this is part of the game, question mark? And then they go on to actually fighting and stuff. Man, my voice actually sounds different right now, because I'm kind of pushing my throat a little bit to keep playing. <laughs> Ugh. Some people are like, like, you, you get this question to streamers sometimes, and they're like, Oh, doesn't it hurt your throat to talk all day? And they're like, no, it's no big deal. Apparently it takes practice, is what they should say. It's not something I'm used to. Like, I record in short bursts nowadays, or I'll record, like, an hour and a half session is the longest I'll go. The problem with the two English patch, at least when I played, is that it was only thing like mission select, and you had to wait for an update every new patch. Oh yeah, I can totally see that being a problem. I mean, when it, it PSO is an MMO. Let's let's not mince words. I'm just gonna treat it like an MMO. When MMO, when a new patch for an MMO, when new content for an MMO comes out, you want to be the first one out of the gate almost every time. You want to go and play it now. And if you have to wait for a translation patch, that is murder. It just doesn't feel fun, because you are- you're just waiting constantly for somebody else, granted, completely free, completely- completely fan-created, completely awesome of them to do it, but you're still having to wait for them. You're on their whim, you're on their schedule. And not being able to play a game on your own schedule, that really drains a lot of fun for me too. Or at least a schedule you can agree to, I should say, because I'm a raider. I raid in WoW. So, I raid on a schedule, but it's a schedule I've agreed to for years and years and years to be a part of. So, I mean... That's that one dead. I think that should... No, didn't quite finish you off. And almost. Hey, there you go. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Oh, hey, I didn't expect you just yet. <coughs> oh, that should not have happened. What the hell is going on? Now my timing's all off. There we go. And he only had one hit, too. I haven't done a WoW raid in years. It It's different now, dude. Things have changed. Things have changed. Though years could just mean Mr. Pandaria, because Mr. Pandaria lasted two years, and it shouldn't have. 
But they know that. They knew they screwed up. And I can respect them admitting it. Honestly, it's just like... Maybe you make some questions about Blizzard's decisions in some games, but you gotta at least respect them. Because there are some things that's just like no other video game company would say and do the things they do. Would not take the risks and stuff they do. And be willing to say, yeah, are bad. Blizzard does. It's like, yeah, you can question their decisions and wow, you can not agree with them. You can decide to quit because it's not your game anymore. That's fine. I'm cool with that. Makes perfect sense. Your call. But don't say Blizzard's an idiot or Blizzard's blah 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 or Blizzard's catering to casuals. Oh, I hate that argument. Damn right they're catering to casuals. They're the ones that are keeping the giving them money, you asshole. Oh, come on, it killed me again. How? Anyway, that was me. That was the closest to me being an angry rant. <laughs> You'll probably get. Unless we're talking about oops killed myself because I'm an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. I need some water. <laughs> well, I didn't think I was going to finish it tonight. This is only further proving it because I can't even get past this level. And I can't go back to previous stages to grind some free lives. Wait, that one's delete. Is this one? Oh, I don't have a copy feature? I could have sworn there was a copy save feature. Huh. Hmm. That's bad. Oh, well. Well, not bad, really. I'm sure it can... It'll be fine. It was just my earlier plan of copying my YouTube save file so I could do other bonus content stuff. Just means that I won't copy the file, I'll just go directly onto it. I mean, what am I gonna do with the file otherwise, right? Okay. Well, I'm, I'm beginning to memorize the level again, so... That means things should go smoother, right? As I take a dun bunch of dumb damage. Haven Zoo drinking game, take a shot every time you die. That's not a new drinking game, every streamer has that drinking game. And it's not, not a good idea to, to promote drinking games. They're a terrible idea. Don't do them. Unless you're with, like, other adults and other stuff like that. I remember hearing about... Ah, oh, there's this one streamer. It was one of my favorites, and I can't remember which one specifically. But they were in, like, a big mall. And they put, like... They were on the... It was a mall, I think. I'm pretty sure they said we were in a mall. And they were watching the streamer... And they were all playing drinking games and other stuff, or something, and they put them on a huge projector on, like, the side of one of the mall's walls? Oh, that's right! Okay, they weren't in a mall- oh, come on. Seriously? Seriously? I can't get high enough to stop this! Really?! And that's how I die. Just, I couldn't do anything about it. And once it caught me, it caught me. Anyway, they they put them, like, on this huge projector. Or, they projected them onto the wall of the... They were probably outside the mall, not in the mall. That would make more sense. I only read, like, what was in chat, and... And the guy was already drunk, so he wasn't explaining it very well. But, yeah, that... That just sounds, like, really awesome to put them on a big projector screen. And they were playing drinking games with the guy who was streaming. Well, not with the guy who was streaming, I mean... The drinking game was like, every time he dies, take a shot. Every time he says this, take a shot. And like, as someone who doesn't drink, I can still see that that sounds like fun. Honestly. You know, at this point, I would recommend changing it from every time I die to every time I get a game over. So you don't kill yourself. Nope, 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 dead again. Nope, dead. See? What the hell? I mess up this one jump every time now. I don't get it. How did I get so bad? Alright, tell you what. Nah, never mind. I was gonna say I was gonna switch over to my other save file and start grinding out and getting the rest of the emeralds like I want to. That'd be a terrible idea. One, I don't have the right overlay. 
I need to change the overlay to, or not the overlay, sidebar. Sidebar Haven. It's not called an overlay. Overlays are different. Um, I would have to change the sidebar, so I'd have to make a new one now on the spot, and I want to, I want to take time to make a good one. This one is kind of shitty, honestly. Uh, and I would also want to make a big deal out of it on YouTube. So I would need an announcement video, and that one would probably need a special announcement video. Wow. At least I haven't needed the fire shield. I always die from the clouds anyway. See, that first one's no problem. Second one, not a big deal. That one's not a big deal because if I got caught, I would still be able to kill it. So it was just that one, that one cloud making guy. That was giving me all this grief. And now I only have one life, so I don't- I can't die for the rest of this act- uh, for the rest of this entire level. This- even if I don't- if don't die this act, if I die next act, it's still game over. Fantastic. It's a good thing I don't claim to be good at this game anymore. Oops, hit button. And boss fight. No, oh, I missed it entirely. That's gonna set me back. Gotcha. Twice, even. Hey, there we go. I got my two hits in as he comes up. Everything's going a lot better. Just don't talk, Haven. Just don't talk about your hopes and dreams. They will always be crushed before you. Hey, I got him! Hey, what the hell? Did I get in between his digits or something? Come on. Come on, let's try it again. Come on! Try and kill me. Oh, hey, look at that, you managed it. <laughs> Don't mock the boss, Haven. Oh, hey, my cat's coming into my room. Hey, Jeremy. Yeah, I'm playing video games. Like, if I legit got a webcam for, like, streams and stuff, it wouldn't be so you could see me, it would be so I could show off my cat. Oh, he went away. He got mad because I wasn't paying attention to him. Oops. I paused. So that, that must have sounded weird. Alright. Let's see if I can get through this without dying, shall we? Oh, hey, fire. Fire bad. It would have been funny if I died there, wouldn't it? That would have been exactly the thing to cap off this run. It would just been it would have been glorious. It would have been glorious. Nope, I'll almost kill myself by going by touching Dr. Robotnik. Which is a common theme, really. Dying if you touch Robotnik. No one wants to touch Robotnik, let's be honest here. I say that a lot, let's be honest. And it's funny, because I rarely talk about something honest. Hey, come on. There we go. I just needed the fire shield, no? It's an extra buffer against my ins my horrible nature. Boing! It's weird what projectiles bounce off you and what doesn't when you have a shield. I'm dumb and took dumb damage. Oh, hey. Look at that. Yay! I have a checkpoint for if I die. Wait... Oh, hey, I got past this part. I haven't gotten past this part yet. Oh, God. This is so sad. This is the furthest I've gotten ever so far. Alright, well, I'm gonna keep taking it slow. 
I'm gonna be careful. I'm gonna watch where I'm going. No! That was... Rings? Oh, get at least one. Alright, well this is a knuckles-only section. Yep, and there goes my last ring. Oh, that was actually some pretty strict timing. Not gonna lie! Oh, hey, look at that. Okay, so I hit this button. Ah! Oh! Goody. Oh well, I got a fire sheet. I'm gonna drink some water. <laughs> Killing a fat man will kill you. Diabetes isn't contagious. No, no it isn't. You're right. But let's be honest. <laughs> okay, that- I do not need a catchphrase. Let's be honest does not need to be my catchphrase. I need to stop saying that. So... Oh god. If you think about it, with Robotnik being who he is, I'd be kind of scared to touch him because I would think he would have like a built-in taser to his suit or something and just be like, whoops, you've triggered my taser. You triggered my trap card. Oh God, now I'm thinking of a, I'm a, thinking of a Sonic Yu-Gi-Oh alter uh, crossover. And I think it's wonderful. Oh God, that's a terrible idea. Haven, no, get it out of your mind. Get it out of your mind. Cleanse, cleanse, cleanse your mind with something. Oops, careful. Okay. So I'm starting to think about what my plans for tomorrow are gonna be. I need to head out to GameStop, turn in one of my old DS games for some cash, uh, maybe buy Persona Q. I'm really not sure if I want to buy Persona Q or get just or just save my money up because I really really need a new graphics card and new processor. But I also think because my birthday's in January. Oh hey, I beat the level. Egg Sonic X Yu Gi Oh to Nav Navi Defender. Well, it was a nice internet while we had it. Well, while well, I had it, I don't get any more though. I don't, I'm not allowed to internet, because that's gonna ruin me. This guy is Sanctuary Zone. Anyway, what was I saying? Um, I'm not sh I'm going to put, like... Oh, hey, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> I'm supposed to get caught. I'm, I'm gonna put a graphics card and processor, once I figure out specifically what ones exactly I want, on my birthday list, but I'm not sure how feasible it is that I'll get them on my birthday, because we're talking hundreds of dollars in computer equipment. So just getting one would be amazing. But the problem is, I don't know which one I would get, so I don't know which one I should get for myself. Obviously, I could just say, get one, and say, I'll, I'm gonna buy the other for myself anyway, and it'd be nice if I got this for my birthday. Oh, hey, Metal Sonic's done. He's really easy on Knuckles, because he just dash forward constantly. But then this happens. And then everything is horrible forever. And now he's Super Knuckles! I mean, Super Metal Sonic. Right, Metal Sonic. Super Knuckles. Oh, hey. Look at that. And then he powers himself up again. This is all kinds of horrible. Sorry, I'm silent. I'm I'm actually focusing a little bit. <laughs> Cause that might happen. I'm on one life. Intense music. Oh, hey, I'm dead. Cause I was joking around. <laughs> All right. Well, we can just hop right back to that level. I think. I don't think it makes me do do lava reef again. Yeah. See, sky sanctuary. 
Does it not make me do the whole Sky Sanctuary as Knuckles? Does it really make me skip it? I don't remember. I think it really just makes me skip straight to the final boss of Sky Sanctuary. No, oh, I, I didn't realize the fight actually legit started. And I've lost my rings already. <laughs> just, just end it. Just move on. Move on. We're trying again. Boy, am I glad I'm, I don't try to claim I'm good at games. Hey, you killed Robotnik! How could you? I mean, I don't know that's Robotnik. Hey, give me that ring back. Oh, whoops. So originally, you, uh, Borderlands the pre-sequel actually didn't interest me that much. Which is weird, because I love Borderlands 1 and 2. And I th I think that and the thing I was complaining about is, like, what mechanics did they add this time? They didn't add many mechanics between Borderlands 1 and 2, except basically new characters. And some new uh, types of weapons and everything. There wasn't really a new mechanic. And then Borderlands the pre-sequel comes out, and it's like, oh, well, well, they're planning on and it coming out at this point, and, my, and I'm forming an opinion on it already, because whatever. And it's like, oh, so they're adding low grav and a breath mechanic, an air mechanic? I didn't realize that would actually change the gameplay as much as they plan on it doing. So I didn't really... So I wasn't really too into it at the time. But... I, I put it on my Christmas list anyway, and I'm totally willing to give it a shot and play it. And let's be honest, it's Borderlands. The writing's gonna be good. This is legit painful to watch it to watch all the death, all the blood, all the fur. Oh hey, that uh, got him. No, oh, I almost got a third hit. The wanton disregard for life. Yeah, I know. It's it's weird. I'm usually getting ready for bed at this point, or I'm actually legit in bed at this point. So I'm actually a little tired, because I wake up early. So I'm, so I'm tired, and that means I'm making more mistakes, and I'm trying to talk about things, so I'm making even more mistakes. And I shouldn't be. You're right. It should be. It is kind of painful to watch me suck this bad. I shouldn't suck this bad. I should focus and remember the patterns and go by muscle memory and all this other stuff that I used to do. Oh, dear. Forget the ring. I'm close enough. I think I can do this without getting hit. The ring would have would have. Oh dear, he's changed his pattern. Okay. So oh oh no. Okay. So you do that, and then you're gonna swoop down. No, you're gonna do that again. You're gonna swoop down. There we go. Okay. So you turn blue before you swoop down. See, this is me in focus mode. Talk through the mechanics. Figure them out. There we go. That's a dead Super Metal Sonic. My sleep schedule is like 2.30 a.m. to 9 a.m. Mine's like... Now keep in mind, I have a sleeping disorder. So while it's under control, I still need more sleep than most people. I usually go to sleep around like 11 to 11.30 to maybe midnight. And I wake up at like 7.30. Wait, is this the end of the game for Knuckles? Wait, hold on! I could have sworn he still goes to Flying Battery Zone. Does he not? Oh, cool! A <laughs> full playthrough! Woo! Yay me! I'm really glad I chose to play this game. Because... Even though I suck! And I'm totally willing to admit at every corner! It, this was still a huge impact on my childhood, and the games I was going to choose, I wouldn't have done them justice. I need to practice them way more, and there's specific stories I want to come up with and talk about during those games, because they were how huge they were to my childhood, and who specifically I associate with those games. But this game, all me, like, I rarely played it with other people, because I never had other friends who wanted to play this. So this game I just played solo all the time. I completely forgot that was the last stage for Knuckles. 
Totally forgot he doesn't go to Flying Battery, or whatever it's called. Do, 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 do. Mm, da, da, da. It's actually a shorter game for Knuckles, but only by about one level. Technically, like, two levels, actually, because... Because Sonic has an actual level he goes through up here, but Knuckles just goes straight to the boss. CG artist! Kunitake Aoki. Wait, like, they legit have, like, one artist for enemy artist? That- wow. Oh, uh, there we go, scene artist. These are the guys who probably drew the levels and stuff. I grew up on Shining Force, my Genesis. I didn't own new Sonic games. Take that in. Grew up on Genesis with no Sonic. Gone back to Sonic later in my life, but didn't grow up on it. Man, that's... It is, you gotta admit, that is pretty strange. I mean, when you think Sega, you think... When you think the Sega Genesis, you think Sonic. But, I mean, if you get a second-hand Genesis that doesn't come with Sonic the Hedgehog, you're not gonna play Sonic the Hedgehog. But, I mean, with how, I guess, fragmented is the best way to put it, that gamers were back then, it's totally possible you just wouldn't hear about or wouldn't want to play a game. But if you did ever talk about games with somebody, it's entirely possible it's like that their experience was weird and they only had specific games. Like, I had so many weird as hell NES and SNES games. Because I would just go to, like, Toys R Us after I'd earned enough for my allowance and pick a game. I would have no context as to what this game was. And it's like, I knew there were certain games that I really, really loved. The Final Fantasy series. Back when I didn't even know what an RPG was. I didn't know that that was the genre they were called. I would always ex describe the game. To, like, I want, I like games like this. That do this stuff. But games with HP and MP and, you know, take turns. That's how I would describe an RPG. Because I didn't know what an RPG was. But, I mean, that's how it was. You were fragmented, and gamers came up with their own terms for things. Like, I, I talked about this early in my LPs, and I talk about it now. I called bosses guardians, because that's what my friends called them. And that's just how it was. Gamers, we didn't have a unified term set up, and so we didn't also have a unified everybody would play this game because everybody heard about it, because sometimes they didn't. Yes, yes, Metal S Sonic is still there because I didn't get all the freaking emeralds. Rah, rah, rah. But that's that. That's the end of the stream. Ending early because I finished the bloody game. But I'll totally set up a stream in the future. I won't say when because I don't want to make a promise I won't keep. Of. Oops, sorry. Hit the mic. I'll totally find the rest of the Super Emeralds. In this in my YouTube one and then beat the game again and then hell maybe I'll do a Tales uh, playthrough some other day because I mean if I can beat the game in two and a half hours as Knuckles I can probably beat it in three as Tales thank you very much to Eternal Sword for dropping by and talking a lot in chat and to anybody else who watched and didn't participate in chat which is totally okay totally cool whatever you need to do I will be uploading this to YouTube, so you YouTube folks should be getting this uh, sometime Thursday? No, no, no. Today is Thursday. So, Friday. Yeah, I'll probably just double upload on Friday. That works too. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you folks next time. <laughs>